Being a magician working in Las Vegas, there were a lot of animal acts out there. You have the rabbits and the tigers, and well, not so much the tigers anymore. <laughs> but back in the day, there was a lot of animal acts out there. So I developed a little animal that I put in my show. I actually found him in the woods behind my house, and I trained him, and I put him in the show. Now, he is a wild animal, so you have to kind of be a little careful. I'm going to bring him out. This is my baby raccoon. His name's Rocky. Sit up here, Rocky. Show these guys a trick. Ten hut. Good boy, that deserves a raccoon munchie, and he's so lifelike. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, miss. Hold on. Look at that, you scared him stiff. Hey, he's a boy. Jewish. Just kidding. How does he work? He's a spring animal, but you can play with him all year. He has a bed spring curled up inside of his body, and here's how you make him move. If you hold him on your hand like this, and you pull down with your fingers, he eats out of your hand, munchie, munchie, munchie. Now to make him look up, you push down with your thumb, he looks up, you rub him under his chin. To make him run up your chest, you place him on four fingers and you wiggle. Now that would make me run too. Four fingers makes him run up your chest. You want to make sure that you use the four fingers, never the dreaded one finger. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Now we're going to hypnotize the raccoon. First, I'm going to have him look into my eyes. You're getting sleepy. I don't like this part any more than you do. Sleep. Hypnotize. While he's sleeping, he does tricks. Rocky, stay. He'll stay for weeks. Roll over. Oh, another great trick. He's having past life regression. He thinks he's Tonto the Indian. Hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya. He does an impression of famous painter Vincent Van Gogh. Oh. For the younger crowd, Evander Holyfield. He does. Brooke Shields. Tom Selleck. Abe Lincoln, an Italian opera singer, oh, he does, Olympic high diver, Greg Luganis, oh. <laughs> he also does one of my personal favorites, he would rub him under his chin right there, he does Bill Clinton. Oh, I'm kidding, that's Tiger Woods. But a true story, I saved the best for last. One time I was in Chicago. I went to Morton's of Chicago, very five fancy restaurant. I was with a date at the time, but we're no longer dating because of this incident, but I don't care because it was pretty funny. I had the raccoon stuffed inside of my pocket like this once I walked into the restaurant so nobody could tell. Like that. I walk into the restaurant. This particular Morton's in Chicago, they have, it seems to me like they try to put as many tables in there as they possibly could. It's fairly crowded. They sat me right in the middle of the restaurant. It was prime dinner time, so you had a pack full of people. They had the guy in the corner playing the piano. The candles were on all the tables. It was really romantic atmosphere. So I decided to have some fun with this. Before our meal, they bring out our salad. I'm looking around the restaurant, which draws attention in itself. I reached in my pocket. I pulled out the raccoon. He was a little flat, so I had to blow him up. <gasps> Then I start feeding him right out of my salad plate. Some lettuce. Some croutons. Some celery. Celery, pay attention. Just then the owner of the restaurant walks over to my table in front of everybody, singled me out. The guy stopped playing the piano in the middle of the song. The owner says, I'm sorry, sir, but you cannot have a live animal inside this restaurant. <gasps> I'm sorry. He said, no live animals in the restaurant? Okay, hold on one second. There you go. Yeah, they don't do that on the Disney Channel, do they? Hold on, we're gonna bring him back to life. We have to work fast, give him CPR, 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 CPR. Hold on, mouth to mouth. When he springs back to life, give him a big round of applause. Oh, good catch.